Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. I only want to uh, uh, just uh, take a moment for the Slim 400. Uh, yeah, yeah, what what went down man. with that, man? Um, uh, being on the outside looking in, that you know, I I, I get sick of these stories, really. Yes, because hey, of all sure, of, you know, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. I just the way he went out. Yeah, I hate that he went out. That's what I'm saying. Just real soldier shit. Yeah, you but, know what I'm saying? I, like, fuck I just, it, I, ain't gonna I, like I just, you know, when I look at what's happening with a lot of the artists, right? I, right just be real right. for a minute. You know, they, I don't know what kind of list they got going with these guys, man. But they numbers is coming like that, man. And it's really sad, you know. I hate to see it. I, I look at LD. This is one of my, you know. I listen to his music so much, dopest music that I hear, you know, from for our streets. In my perspective of what we, you know, it's therapeutic, you know. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. Um, but the thing is, man, I just look at the way they, the numbers keep drilling down with all the artists, man. What do you What do you think about that? Well, um, it's good you asked that question because taking him using him as an example as an artist, then it just show you that LD obviously he has a good team behind him or he has set OGs, people that believe in him. Not, oh, this nigga making money and they're just users and they're yes men. Cause that means he could tell niggas anything. I'm I'm quite sure he got a nigga that's, hey nigga, hey, stand down, you fucking up. Cause if you fuck up, you fuck it up for the rest of us, all of us, and we believe in you. That's what these young dudes, I was just talking about this to Big Ace, my homie Ace, on our way over here. This is what the game is missing because they took it away from the game. It was in the game. They took it away from these youngsters. They don't have what the 90s had. They don't have real dudes behind them that's solid. That's going to tell you, hey, man, you fucking up. No, they got all the little homies, niggas out the hood, off the block yes, with you. Yes, man. Hey, come here. You, 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 come on, I'm going to take you with yeah. me because I can give you a couple hundred dollars a month and yeah. you're going to be satisfied. Mm -hmm. Can't nobody... You can't see what's going on in in, in that structure because there ain't no structure behind it. When you got structure, you move a certain way. He move a certain way, and he know that. He know better. He know not to put himself in certain situations on a regular because of what the fuck is going on already. He's smart enough and wise enough to see that as an artist. Well, if I'm going to be somewhere, and these are my folks, like, okay, like he at Boss Talk right now, right, for prime example, doing this thing at Boss Talk. But now it's a chicken stand down the street. They know when he leave Boss Talk, he go there every week, huh. five times a day. You know what you just did? You publicized to the people as a rich nigga. This is why I hang out every week. So the wolves, man, the jealousy, the envy, the hatred, they going to lurk, bro, and they going to do their homework. If they don't, they dummies. Because if I was a nigga in the street of wolf, guess what? That's who I'm going to get. I'm going to get the prey. I'm going to get the nigga who's slipping. Oh, that rich nigga down here and he ain't doing nothing for us? Do my homework. Okay, that nigga spends three days a week down here, y'all. We smashed on that nigga soon when he come down here next month. He guaranteed to be here on this particular day. And this is what these dudes are doing, bro. Man, sad, so, man. so cats got to understand as youngsters getting out of this, listen to me, y'all, out there TV land, homie. You a rapper, singer, dancer, actor, model, slash ex stripper, which a lot of y'all are venom. Y'all got a <laughs> lot to do with the game that's fucked up right now. Because y'all misguided and misconstrued. didn't have fathers at pimps, molested, the whole nine, so it's bigger than y'all. But however, man, listen, man, you youngsters out there, man, when you get out of this shit, that's the whole purpose. When you leave the block, it don't make you no hard nigga, no real nigga, because you got 100000 you worth 200000 and you hanging around these niggas, and they broke. But they your buddies you grew up with. Them ain't the same people you know more and more, nigga. I hate to bust your bubble. Unless they got 100000 in their pocket with you, them ain't the same people. Feel me? So a lot of cats have to really swallow the pill and understand that change of venue. When you make a, a change in your life for success, homie, and you trying to do other shit, everybody ain't going to take that ride. Everybody can't go. So if they can't ride with you and go, they're going to be mad and hate and envy and don't even know why they is. It's because cause they're not in that position. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Already. You know what I mean? You follow yeah. me? So they're not in that position. So it's like a lot of these young cats, man, you got to move a certain way and you got to take this internet IG killing shit as examples, bro. It ain't no game no more. This shit is far fetched beyond y'all control. It's something y'all wouldn't even understand. I ain't going to hit y'all with right now. That's why our big ace is going to hit the airwaves with this shit, man, and let niggas know, man. But you young dudes need to realize, homie, having security, Having safety because it's around you is the thing to fucking do. Don't let nobody tell you differently. You fuck your jury. Fuck all that fake shit. 
spend your money protecting yourself so you can continue your ladder and achieve your goals I agree with and that. succeed. Yeah. And I guarantee you, you'll see the shit on a whole different way, man, different life, man. Yeah. You, you ain't gonna live long out here running around with the homies because them niggas ain't professionals. So you gotta They're move not professional right. suitors. You, you have to. You have to. When you get a certain, you have to, on a bro. certain level, like some of the guys that have passed, you know, here recently, you would have thought that they would have been, they, you get too comfortable. Because in your in your neighborhood or wherever, listen, if you if you get too comfortable, man, listen, and, man, and and just go to go, show you, just go to show you. My one of my cats, he got sick last week when I was leaving out. But I have two dudes that work for me. This my my personal arm gear security, and they arm personally, feel me. And if they on at me, I'm on. So this is why dummies only understand the game of life. And it's like, why niggas are so naive and dumb? So I heard a couple of young kids had nerd to question me because I'm fresh out of a flight. Then me and Spliff connect. We I got Spliff doing a vlog. We live in the Knicks to I got one of my arm niggas with me. But you don't know, this ain't my homeboy. This ain't no nigga off the block. This a military militant right here. And the same way I would go, he going. And he going to make sure ain't exactly. nothing going on with Big Cap. Because I'm a thinker. Yeah, I'm in my hood. But I ain't just in my hood. I'm moving around LA. I'm moving, period. You think I give a fuck because I'm in my hood? One of these young, stupid young John motherfuckers said, man, that niggas killed my daddy or niggas shot my uncle back in the day. And right, walk right up now and right. have some heart and say, ah! Yeah. Because it fucking happens. See, I'm smart enough to that. know this. I live in reality, homie. I ain't a dummy. No, I get so it. So I move strategically. I move a certain way, my niggas. I, 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 and and I think that's you have the, to. That's my advice to all you young dudes out here, all the young cats, bro. Start moving a certain way and get rid of all these motherfuckers you got in your circles, dog, that really don't mean you're no good. Them is the niggas that's really setting you up. Them the integral plots. The closest motherfuckers who you got around you, it's easier to get to you. Who you all I gotta do is manip manipulate him. Feel me? Think about it. You in you in this cast little inner circle, but you 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 fuck with me and respect me highly. And I'm a wolf, though. I ain't in y'all circle, but I want that nigga. It's easy for me to manipulate you and tell you, nigga, look, nigga, we gonna put you in position. You gonna be the nigga. But we gotta get rid of that nigga. Your nigga, we gotta, he gotta go. Oh, well, shit, all right, homie. Manipulation right there. And this is what's going on. All, it's, it's coming in all type of fashions, bro. So it's like a lot of these young dudes, the whole object of getting out the hood is not to go back, homie. Definitely. It don't make you tough. Just like niggas going to jail and going to prison. And don't be listening to all these niggas on the internet too talking about, oh, I did 25, 30 years. If he ain't talking about the 25, 30 years he did and how reformed he is and he can show you right now today he's still irrelevant and this is what his life mean, then he ain't giving you no inspiration, little homies. Fuck them niggas. Don't be listening to these niggas. I don't wow. give a fuck about you niggas doing I didn't do 30 straight, nigga. I did it broken up. But I did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did it. But yeah, it don't saying? matter. You can't... Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.